Hey, hey guys, Scott with Football Scoop uh, back on the Inside Scoop today. Today we've got E.K. Franks, uh, running backs and uh, associate head coach at Southeastern Louisiana. Thanks for coming on, Coach. Hey, thanks for having me. Absolutely. All right, so I'm thinking about this. I know you were with Ron at Texas uh, at Texas State, and then I think you went up to Wisconsin for a couple of years, right, before coming yeah. back to Delta and, and now here at Southeastern with Ron again. Tell me about going up to Wisconsin. What was that about? Wisconsin was good, actually. Uh just got done at Texas State, and, you know, Coach Billman and I were together at Kansas State a little bit. I was a strength coach at Kansas State when he, he, he was the co-defensive coordinator there. So then he went to Wisconsin as a defensive coordinator, and uh, I got the great opportunity to come up as a graduate assistant for him. Mm-hmm. So. Tell me about that decision. You know, a lot of guys face that decision, you know taking a grad assistant spot at a great program, you know, what, what goes into the mindset there? You know, give me any advice for young coaches. You know, is that a move you got to make to, to advance? Well, I think it's, uh, for me at that time, um, I think that was the best move for me. Uh, I think as, as a young coach, you got to sit back and thank the pros and cons, you know, it's good kind of, you know, I didn't have a family at that time, so I could, you know, it was an easier transition for me, mm-hmm. you know, I could take that pay cut and, and go be a GA and, and try to get to know new coaches, make new connections. And also for me, though, it was a different part of the country that I hadn't been in. So it helped me with recruiting ties up in the north. So yes. I think I think as a young coach trying to make that decision, you know, you weigh the pros and cons. But I think if you get that opportunity, you take it. Yeah. Yeah. You get an opportunity to go into a big BCS program. You got to make that jump. Make a run yeah. at it. Yeah. All right, tell me about this. Let's uh, let's fast forward to this season. You've been with Ron a little bit. You know the routine. You know for you guys in season. Walk me through a, uh, a typical work week. You guys are playing. Let's say you play Saturday afternoon. Start me right after the game. What happens for the next seven days? Uh, right after the game, you know we kind of everybody kind of dispersed and kind of c- calm down a little bit and relax a little bit. Uh, you have to have your film graded by one o'clock staff meeting. And we'll we'll discuss it. Normally, the uh, offensive and defensive staff would get together before that, um, between probably eleven o'clock. And so, technically, I have mine graded by eleven, mm-hmm. and try to go into that meeting with it already graded. Going to discuss, you know, the player of the game, how we did. We'll watch it as a, as a offensive and defensive staff. Then we'll come together and do our player of the game. Talk about the goals we hit at one o'clock staff. Then we bring the team in at 3 o'clock. So we have a 3 o'clock meeting. Uh, we'll split up offense, defense, one will lift. The other one's meet and go with the film. Yep. Then we flip it, and then they go eat dinner. And then we come back and we practice Sunday evening. Okay. And it's a lightweight practice, um, you know, just kind of introducing the next opponent a little bit, any corrections that you want to make. We'll go over that. Then also, we give the kids off Monday. So nice. the players are off Monday, and then we'll come in as a staff, and that's when you're getting to the notes of both of the next opponent for the next week. You know, we're, we get in about, we have 8 o'clock staff meeting with Coach Roberts and the all staff. And then, you know, after that, pretty much everybody split offense, defense. And getting scouting reports ready, gathering all the information. And then on Tuesday, again, we pretty much have 8 o'clock every day, you know, throughout the week. And then yep. on Tuesday, the offensive staff usually comes in and meets at 6. Defense usually comes in at 7 and meets. Um, and, again, you're getting everything done for your scouting reports, your game plan, anything for practice. We'll meet at 8 o'clock, go over practice that day. And then player meetings at 2 o'clock practice you know come in watch practice film that night recruiting calls that evening and you know start that process over again wednesday wednesday's pretty much the same as tuesday (laughs) you know thursday uh a little lighter but you know thursday again you plan and practice thursday we have a recruiting meeting every thursday throughout the year so bring all your recruiting materials in you're going to discuss you know, who's where, who you, who you contacting, who you talking to, you know, where we at on certain kids, what they have going, other offers, you know, anything dealing with recruiting, we're going to talk about that at our Thursday staff meeting. 
Mm-hmm. And we split offense, defense, and again meetings at two o'clock. Um, that practice, you know, more of a crisp practice, getting everything done. We're gonna hit a lot of special teams again in Thursday's practice. Uh, review that. Come in after practice. We'll watch film. Same routine in the evening. Recruiting calls. You know, Fridays a little different. Uh, Fridays you usually don't have staff till ten. Uh, get to kind of sleep in a little bit. Most guys get up and doing their recruiting calls, or you, you know, when the guys that are single, you know, you're paying bills, trying to do all that on yep. Friday morning, <laughs> trying to, you know, do a little grocery shopping or something like that. Uh, come in, uh, talk about practice for that day. Mostly practice is walk through, going through stuff, or travel day. Uh, depends on that. Uh, we have Friday night dinner. Have uh, Friday night practice. Excuse me. We're going to do, you know, it's all special teams. We're going to cover everything in special teams, and we're going to uh, split offense, defense, walk through everything on that side of the ball. Then we come back, and Coach coach talks to them about what we have scheduled the rest of that evening. You know, we'll have a team devotion Friday night, a team dinner. Um, then we'll split again, offense, defense. And most of the time we're doing a video scouting report during that time. Mm-hmm. So, you know, kind of letting the kids make calls and do things like that. Um, and we show certain videos to help them out to guide them in their calls and stuff. Yep. So uh, do that Friday night, Saturday. It depends on if it's a early game or night game. Sure. You know, and then that schedule starts all over again. I hear you. <laughs> it's a good week, though. Y'all got a good plan. I like that. It, it, it's detailed and, you know, um, I like it, you know, because you got enough time where you can get stuff done on your own and enough time where you're together and discussing stuff as a unit, offense or defense. So, hey, Coach, I appreciate you making some time to, uh, to spend some time with us today. I appreciate you anytime. I will talk to you soon.